Hey car friends, this is Stu from Really Cool Videos, and welcome to my office here at OG Social Headquarters, where I've been collecting, hoarding a bunch of parts for the 90s build battle project that I'm very excited about. It consists of this 96 GTI VR6 and my 96 Civic Type R with the B18 C swap. I've been waiting anxiously for these big boxes to arrive. They have, and I've been waiting for you guys to unbox them. In here we have a set of Recaro 88 seats all the way from Thailand. The 90s dream seat, hardback, reclinable buckets, recovered. They're dope. Super pumped about these seats. And then in here, more power. We, we got this turbo kit for the GTI VR6. All bundled up right here. Turbo right there, big boy. Garrett, brand new. Whew. Also, we have a bunch of 90s dream parts. Steering wheels, diff, brakes. Cluster, Civic stuff, Volkswagen stuff, all types of stuff. We're gonna back this car out of here so we can have more room. And then let's get to unboxing and taking a look at these period correct parts for these 90s dream cars that I basically would want since I was 18. I just turned 40 a couple months ago. Oh no! <laughs> so I've just been going ham on the internet. Add the car, buy now, get whatever I want. It's my 40th birthday. I don't care. I'm bringing you guys along with me. Let's take a look at some of them. Come on. But while I'm doing that, please go check out OGSocial.com if you haven't already. Your boy Stu came out with a new social platform. It's in beta right now, we're testing it, but you should lock in your name while it's still free. We took the old school, the new school, we joined them together, and we made a dope platform. So please go check it out, OGSocial.com. I wanna move this car. All right, now we got some space. So where should we start? Should we start with the turbo? Or start with the seats? Uh, I wanna start with the seats. Uh, can't do an unboxing without a cool knife. Kershaw, auto assist, not legal in California. <laughs> so here you can see it says repacked DHL. Hopefully that's just tape, but I'm slightly nervous of the condition that they came in. When you're buying these things, you can only see a few pictures on eBay or whatever, but they're cars, they're meant to be driven. Nothing's perfect in life. Let's go, just like Christmas. Regile, oh, it's from France? on these are just as good as the front. So these are Recaro A8 Gen 2s. The Gen 1s are a little different. They have a little bit bigger side bolster. Get into them. Ooh wee, they're hot. Oh. I didn't make it. Never sat in A8s before. I have no idea if I fit in them, how they feel, if they're comfortable. I'm 6'2", 200 and a lot. Oh, they're nice. Oh, they're nice. Oh, yes. These are actually black vinyl red stitching. Vinyl holds up better, looks the same as leather. No difference. I mean, there's difference. It's cheaper and it's more durable, so it's a win-win. And if I'd ever told you that they were vinyl, you would never think they were vinyl because these seats are Wow, they're, they're so dope. And, you know, I thought about buying brand new like Recaro Sportsters, but these are period correct for the car. These are the ultimate dream seat. You said, Stu, what dream seat do you want for the car? I said, I said Recaro A8s for sure. So I had to swoop. Let's do the next one. Let me show you the backs on these. I'm so glad I went with these seats. Gosh, they're so unique. Oh, just a beautiful design. And who does not love a painted hardback sports seat? Didn't make it. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! So look at the size of these. Look at the, look at how pronounced this is. Oh, I love this part of the seat. It's such a cool design and very comfortable too. <laughs> Thank God, since I own them now. <laughs> Here they are. Super stoked. All right, guys, I'll move you aside and then uh, we'll uh, do the turbo. Okay, you cool? You cool with that? Whew. 
Okay. Seats. Definitely, definitely happy with the seats. Next up, <laughs> now to be outdone by the seats, a turbo kit for a VR6. Right now we have the Air T3 T4. 60 millimeter turbo kit, brand new. So let's start with that. What is it about brand new car parts? What is it about brand new car parts? We're gonna go fast. We're gonna do some fun stuff. I already opened this box, I know what's in here. This is the 42 pound injectors for the, for the VR6. More gas, more air, more gas. Check. Those are camera bolts, they're not that exciting. This, though, let's talk about it real quick. Had the same exhaust tip on my <laughs> 97 Jetta VR6 when I was 18. It's from Eurosport, etched with Eurosport. I love DTM exhaust tips. It's so period correct. I, I don't know, the, the turn up, not many people run them now, but it's hard to pull them off and make them look good. These are a little small, but I'm, I might run them. I don't know, but look at how they glisten. No matter what, they stay in my garage and just shine. The exhaust I ordered is from 42 Draft Designs. It has some three inch dual round tips, but we're gonna try and make those DTM. Okay, on the turbo. Big box coming through, unopened, waiting for you guys, still sealed. Actually, it's a lot. I, I did seal it. <laughs> All right, we have a whole bunch of intercooler piping. Polished intercooler tubes. Okay? So, I think there's like two 90s, there's two 45s, and then there's two straights, and then two 180s. Ooh, what's in here? I don't know. Wastegate? Impressed by that. I wish I could juggle. I can't. <laughs> Small white box. Man, there is a slew of boxes in here. Eight in a bag. This is a C2 motor. Oh, it's the chip. Okay. Need this. C2 Motorsports chip. Uh, like an EEPROM chip, old school EEPROM. Not reflash, it's a different chip. <laughs> And this is the head spacer to lower compression on the VR6 to 9 to 1 from SPA Turbo. High performance head gasket. Ah. Still many, many boxes left. I'll pick it up soon. Pick it up. Uh, more injectors. They sent the injectors twice. BBM, uh, I'll send these back. Big. It's a turbo oil return stainless steel line and fittings. Nice. Nice. This this looks like a turbo mail. It's the interval. I was wrong. Again. That. Oh. What business. I also bought the oil cooler Eurosport, but this is the air-to-air -air intercooler. Ooh, not gonna be able to hide that. Car's not gonna be a sleeper. No no. It's gonna say turbo in the front. Boost controller, nice. This is, I'm guessing, a manual boost controller. Yeah. This is so 90s, my childhood. My buddy had an Eclipse GSX with a manual boost controller. Turn the knob if you want to go fast. Boost, 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 boost. <laughs> it's high performance, you know. It's high performance. Fuel pressure regulator. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. To regulate the fuel pressure. All right, final box in here, and then we can look at all the cool stuff back here. This says, oh, what's happening? This is the exhaust manifold for sure. Yes. That's nice. That's very nice. 
This is where the VR sex goes. Your dad will tell you about that if he hasn't already. And the turbo will slap to there. And that's where the fun starts. Nice. That was a lot of parts. A lot of parts. Now, we gotta take a look at all this stuff. So I'm gonna switch my little GoPro point of view hat, give you a real life experience. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that hat on. All right, now we're going first person view. Check out all this interior goodness over here. Woo! -hoo! So starting with this Porsche 930 steering wheel. You can still buy it brand new from Porsche. Uh, this one's been rewrapped in leather with a red cross stitch to match the seats. It's got the RS Rally Sport logo embossed in it. Now this is an actual ATIWE. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Atui steering wheel. So it's a three hole adapter for it to fit on a Momo hub, which we have in the car right now. <laughs> this is the shift boot that I got to match and I'll be rolling with this Momo race air shift knob. This is kind of what we're gonna be rolling with here. I have all these other shift knobs here to show you kind of an evolution and what Stu style is. So this is the stock shift knob from my TTRS, very similar to the race air. We have the an OEM shift knob and boot for an RS4, B7 Audi RS4. I almost bought one, but that's kind of like, in my opinion, what my perfect shift knob and boot is. It's attached, it's all one piece, but it's got some aluminum and some perforated leather on top. Um, but you want that red stitching. You gotta have the red stitching because now we got it on the seats, steering wheel, shift boot. Um, yeah. Also wanted to show this keychain. I found this, it's a Porsche keychain, green leather, matches the car so good. Uh, I'm so stoked about this. So I got Porsche steering wheel, Porsche keychain. Okay, rotating around, John hood lifts. <laughs> Most cars nowadays come with um, a hood lift shock, um, but the Mark III VR6 does not. Then we have the driver's edition silver cluster. Looks so nice. My buddy Nick polished it up for me. And I have the matching boost pressure gauge to go with it. Ooh, so this is, let's talk about the suspension. Coney shocks for the dampening adjustable H&R street performance coilovers. <sighs> These things look so nice. Stainless steel, threaded shock body, not an insert that goes over it. Got the helper springs. This is where the adjust knob goes on and then you can just adjust the dampening. So clean, H&R German quality with the Kony shock for adjustability and a good price, about 1500 bucks. Shout out to Eurosport. We got some Eurosport rear camber shims and some H&R front camber bolts in case we need to adjust some camber, just wanna have those on deck. <laughs> All right, now let's go back to the 90s. Look at this. We got some lady in an all black outfit with the silver puffy vest looking like she's straight out of a Missy Elliott video. <laughs> but these are some German goodness taillights. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna be able to find these because stuff's getting hard to find now. Um, but they're the full smoke rear taillights. So they essentially look the same as what's on there, but this upper section is much less orange. It does have some orange in it still, but compared to the US spec, it's, it's basically clear when you hold them up right next to them. Next up, performance. Limited slip differential, wave track for the GTI. Uh, had the same wave track diff in the Corrado, worked really well. Gonna be doing all this stuff, gonna be doing a new clutch. Might as well throw another $900, get you a diff. I wasn't planning on upgrading the front brakes, but I found uh, MF Auto was selling this barely used, basically brand new, just installed for test fit purposes, six piston tarot front brake kit with a two piece rotor. Whoa, look at this on the front. And then we'll do some slotted rotors on the back. Uh, not this exact pattern, but slotted nonetheless. Whew, and then we'll leave these black because the car is green. So uh, could do yellow, but then I got red stitching. I'll just leave them black. But man, this brake kit's gonna be serious. These wheels are off my Cabrio. I just put them out here because they look pretty. 
I am getting the ABT A9 wheels refinished right now. They'll be done in three weeks and be on the car. So I'm stoked. We're going with the silver chrome lid, chrome hardware. Got the H&R sway bars front and rear to complement the coilovers. Then just, you know, chilling. We got an ABT cup wide body kit, front fender, rear quarter. This is going to be the next stage after we handle all this performance stuff. Then we're going to do body work, but there they are chilling now we're shifting gears into honda jdm stuff actually we got one jdm part on this table <laughs> everything else is us spec so we got a new cluster this is a us civic si cluster 9500 tachometer that'll do right now i'm running it to 8500 which is off the tack in the current cluster so it'll be nice to have room there this steering wheel is a nardi Gara Sport 350, black perforated leather with red stitching. This was originally bought for the GTI. It's a beautiful steering wheel. But then after I got it, first put it in the Civic, I was like, wow, it really fits well in here. It's nice. And I don't like the current steering wheel that's in the Civic. Um, it's a Momo Monte Carlo, which I love, but if this one is an Alcantara, the Alcantara is kind of hard on your hands. Unless you're wearing gloves, it's not that soft. It's um, it's a little slippery. This thing's only like a year old or less. It's not wearing that great. So I love the steering wheel. I just wish I would have got black leather with red stitch instead of the Alcantara. So <laughs> I've been looking for something to upgrade it. And I decided I wanted to go with the 930 Sport. That's the ultimate steering wheel for the GTI. Might as well make this the ultimate steering wheel for the Civic. Very nice. And then we're gonna put this shift knob on to match with this OEM Civic Type R shift boot. Honda original part. It's actually vinyl, but it's an OEM Honda part and it's got red stitch to match the setup. Um, these are some other shift knobs that I've had throughout the year. There's some Amazon and some Skunk knobs. Inexpensive is like 15 bucks, 10 bucks. I do have a shift knob problem, I will say. I'm aware, I like shift knobs, I like steering wheels. Anything that your hand touches all the time when you're driving, I feel like it's worth it to splurge and change it up, keep it fresh. Let's take this, and let's take this, and let's go over to the Recaros. And this is what I'm working with here. This is what we're working with. So we got some silver, we got the black with the red. Come on. I'm hyped on that. Whew. Oh, I'm so I, I can't believe it. Your boy's living the freaking dream. All right. Uh, I'm blessed. I'm for, so fortunate. So thankful you guys for watching. I really appreciate your support. <laughs> um, God, I just feel so lucky and fortunate to have all this stuff. Uh, have the support of my wife, my friends, you guys. Um, it's a lot, man, but uh, we're doing big things. We're doing OG Social. That's about to drop. We're on beta right now, but it's about to go live in about a month. Um, and then I'm going to drop some, some really exciting features, and you're going to want to be a part of it. So sign up for the free beta right now. Lock in your username, OGSocial.com. But if you like cars, we're doing those too. Two ultimate 90s builds, both getting turbos, about to go to the shop, <laughs> about to start doing installs now that we have all the parts. So stay tuned. But until next time, have a really cool day. Peace. Thank you.